so performance is this one fall so this is only fall performance analyzer we say uh, this will again uh, whenever we talk about this performance you know it right to how you have to check uh, you you need to see how the user is uh, satisfied with your uh, for your application right so for that to monitor and address performance you have uh, three things in your application in pega one is called as performance analyzer tool one is database trace tool and next one is we generally say db trace tool db trace tool tool and next one is performance profiler we have these three things okay, okay so this whenever you select this performance it will show you only performance analyzer uh, you can see here start db trace and db trace setting. So the starting point in it means is initialization. The starting points whenever you logged in from there, whatever the whatever it has been captured means whatever the case ID is created or all whatever it is, it will be stored in your init. And if you now start now you start creating any case, uh, then these readings will be available in your next. Uh, another row called as delta row so delta row is the one which you means uh, delta row is the one it talks about the performance readings which are after the end whichever whichever it is after you logged into the system okay after you logged into the system those all things so if you see here uh, if you refresh reset or refresh for this is add reading can you see add reading when you click on add reading then you can see whatever <laughs> all app whenever you click on add reading each and everything it will select okay so what are the things what are the rules it has been selected see directly it was it was simply uh it within seconds we selected right add reading so it took only three three count okay so but if i start uh writing this or uh, uh, i'm just simply submitting this Okay, so submit. Oh, it extended. Okay, so wait. So I would like to continue. So continue. Now you go to the tracer. So oh, no, sorry. Now you go to this performance analyzer and select add reading. So whatever the readings it has taken from them, it took. See, can you see 18? Count is 18, interaction count is 18, server connected to server is 9.49, rule assembly is 0.05 uh, 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 seconds. What is that means? Uh, how the rules are coming from your uh, rule assembly cache? Okay, so from there, so how many rules were used? 10,000 rules were used in between this. Okay, so uh, next you can see uh, rule count okay so from the database or cache how these are things so how much data it has took so these many data it has it has taken but from this you don't you are not understanding what exactly which rule is taking too much time and all right so to understand uh, which rule is taking too much time so for that you go for performance profiler so for example activity is there so activity is taking some 10 seconds instead of taking one second it is taking 10 seconds and then uh, uh, how do you uh, how do you uh, know why in which step the activity is getting late means then for that you'll go for another tool called as performance profiler tool so how do you go to that means go to configuration uh, systems performance fall so here only you'll find all those three things what are those fall you can even save the data Paul DB trace and next one is performance profiler. All right. So same. Now here also same thing. Whatever it is there, you can add here. Same. You run the case and start, and there everything will be uh, taken. So here, uh, important is rule assembly cache is important because how much time it is taking. Uh, uh intra means it is interfering this i mean how much it is interacting with the rule assembly cache and getting the rules okay so even you can save the data so this data will be saved as an excel sheet 
okay can you see one is downloaded here so next one is database trace so database trace when why do you use this is uh, you know any database performance issues you want to check then you go for this database trace uh, so if whenever you take Paul right uh, so if you go to this Paul and here you are checking uh, it is taking some time to uh, more time uh, you know to get retrieve the data then it's better you come to uh, database trace and check so you can have trace option what are the things you want to trace you can just select them so it will take those data so if you have if you see all it is tracing batches whatever by the writing reading everything it is getting uh, done so now you can just run the case so now here what you do is you just first start you have to start this so now it is getting started then you can submit the details here Okay, it should be a number, but right. right, you can go back to this and stop it. So it took all those things system performance, how much it is. So the, your case ID, how much it took size, this much size it took. So you can just download them again. Uh, all the things it has created. So this is to trace what all. It's very difficult to understand. You can see, when, see, can you see here one rule OBJ of activity has been created, started. So each and everything it is it is getting, uh, you know, kept is keeping in here that expired. So here what what actually you're doing in the DB trace is if there is any database performance issue, then you can come back to this side, check. Okay, you can trace all SQL operations. What are the SQL operations are there? So in between, if you have any activity here, we do not have, but by default, OTD activities it has taken. So in that way, you can use your DB trace. Okay. If you feel that database operations are taking too much time, then you can go and check. Uh, what do you can check? Where is this? Yeah. You can go and check with the DB trace. And then coming to the performance profiler. In performance profiler. You will see which rule when rule is there it is taking some time so that all those things will be recorded over here same this will also be downloaded you can download and check uh, check what all the things I mean where why it is taking too much time to complete a particular rule okay whether it could be uh, you see nothing is taken because no, no we, we didn't add any or we didn't create any uh, thing here right so if i'm going here edit so see it is taking too much time to do that so you got something here so i'm adding like this uh, and submit now i'll go back to here performance so stop can you see now so you got something called as dl one zero so it took this much of time so why it is you can just go and check in this okay so again here you can see a csv file right so you can just open it um i think you don't have excel, excel yeah you have okay now you can see here so which rule can you see here total time 0 0.006 time it is to taking which one it is taking rule obj activity this is taking too much time so it is right right here so these all data you can see and capture and you can tell to your uh, to your uh, lsa or you know to the admin that these things are taking too much time so any possibility to avoid these rules or you can check what uh, what what are the necessary actions you can take 
okay so this is how you do the performance issue okay so there are three things which you are which you need to be aware okay performance analyzer performance analyzer is entire application database trees is for database operations performance profile is for a particular particular rule it can be an activity when rule or decision table rule or all. you can just run it and you can just stop and the, that particular data will be shown shown in your uh, this thing you can download and check why it is okay okay yeah you have to use the profiler to obtain a detailed trace of a performance in information about the execution of activities when condition rules and data transforms executed by your requested session the profiler traces every execution of rules of these three types in all rule sets 